Hey guys, it's Cassie. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a seasoned subscriber. Today I am going to be talking to you through 10 easy ways to look expensive AF. Guys, if you're new here, my name is Cassie. I am a self-diagnosed luxury addict. It's true. I put out videos on Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably gonna like those too. So head down there, click the red button, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. We'd love to have you join. We're not going to rehab anytime soon. Guys, shall we start? Let's go. Now these are easy tips that will work for any style, okay? This is for if you're somebody that loves a tailored look, get it. If you're somebody that's a little bit more like me, I like to, you know, like a little bit more street inspired, get it. These tips are gonna work for everyone. They're gonna make you look like money, trust me. Okay, starting off with tip number one. If you haven't got a steamer, get yourself a steamer right this second. By the way, everything that I mention in this video will be linked below for your convenience. But a steamer, I am new to the steamer game and it is a game changer. You want to look like your clothes are fresh out of the dry cleaners. Yes, and a steamer is gonna get you there. It heats up super fast. Mine heats up in less than 45 seconds. I've got one of the like stand-up ones, but you can get more portable ones. They're easier and more handheld. These are gonna get your outfits wrinkle-free, okay? You're gonna be looking very put together. And the great thing about a steamer is that if you have dry clean only clothes, you can actually use your steamer to clean them. Yes, because it's boiling water. It disinfects. It's fantastic. Tip number two, get rid of your lint. There are two ways to do this. Use a lint roller, use a fabric shaver, lint shaver, something or other, this little fellow. Now, a lint roller is basically like double-sided tape on a roller. You can get these super cheap off Amazon. You don't wanna be wearing a fly jacket with its hairiness happening at the back there. So get rid of your lint, get rid of hair, dust, whatever. A lint roller is gonna be your best friend. With certain items, especially tops, jumpers, that kind of thing, they start to get those like, bubbles of fabric lying on top. And that is where this little guy comes in. Basically, it is um, like a razor beneath this metal panel and it's just gonna chop them all off. It's amazing. I also find it super satisfying to do. All the link collects in here. You just take it out, you trash it and you're ready for round two. These are gonna make your clothes stay fresh. And just like, oh, there's something happening there. And she looks, she looks, she looks expensive, okay? She looks like a high maintenance hoe. That's the vibe we're going for. The next one is something that's really overlooked, but really important, and that is to always have clean shoes. I'm someone who most of the time is in sneakers, but this does not make me exempt. No, especially white sneakers. So the first tip is Jason Mark. This is great for leather shoes, white sneakers, stuff like that. Little, little kind of dirt marks here and there that you just want to get off. Especially if you have shoes that are of like complicated, made out of complicated materials, things like suede or a mix of different materials. I live by the Restory. Restory, Restory, whatever. It is amazing. It is a worldwide service. Basically, they will take your shoes, they will clean them, they will give them a love and care, and they come back literally like the day you bought them. You could literally be wearing Gucci sneakers and they're like dirty and everything and you're not, you're not gonna look, you're not gonna look bougie AF. You're not gonna look like money people, okay? So just by caring for your shoes in these ways, you're gonna look, you're gonna look fly as hell. Buying slash investing in quality basics. I am not saying that you have to go out and spend a hundred pounds on a white t-shirt, no. But do buy stuff that is better quality, that's gonna last. White t-shirt, pristine. I love the white company for white t-shirts. Great quality, they're 
thick. They're not gonna be like showing bits that you don't really wanna be on the show. Especially for a white shirt, you want a good cut, okay? It doesn't have to be fitted. It can be straight up and down, but it's a nice cut. It I am also a black turtleneck till I die stan, okay? Everybody should have a black turtleneck. You have that smooth silhouette. She looks like she knows what she's doing. She looks put together. She looks expensive. You can pair these things with whatever, whatever jacket. People are gonna look at you and they're not gonna know exactly what. They're gonna be like, I don't know what it is, but she looks good. She looks put together. I need her tips. Quality basics will get you there. You've come here, I'm a luxury channel. I had to, I had to inject just a little bit of luxury. I 100% believe that if you are going to spend money on anything, get a bag get a designer bag. You don't have to spend the price of a second-hand car on a designer bag. I have a whole video dedicated to bags under a thousand pounds, a thousand dollars. I will link that somewhere, somewhere up here. Designer items, A, the quality is there. They're gonna last you forever, okay? And they just up the outfit. They just, they just take you they just take you to that level, okay? They will just give you that little edge that's like, oh, she's put together, oh, 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 I see the Gucci too. Okay, okay, I know what kind of girl we're dealing with here, okay? The next tip that will make you look like you've got a stylist and therefore make you look expensive AF are sunglasses. I feel like these are very overlooked. But sunglasses just make you look rich and unbothered. A hoe looks like money, okay? Ho looks like she's got hella money. I don't care about your opinion. Living my best expensive bougie life. Sunglasses just make you look rich, okay? You don't have to spend designer money on sunglasses. These are Gucci, okay? But, uh, I'm sorry. These are from Key Australia. And guess what? A ho still looks like money. A ho looks arguably more like money, especially with gold lenses. Sunglasses make you look rich. A gel manicure is gonna always make you look on 10. You're not gonna chip, because chipping is the thing that brings you down, ladies. Gel manicure will last you, it will not chip off, make you look raggedy, no. If you're here for acrylics, Girl, girl, I'm with you. If you're not here for acrylics and you're a natural nail kind of lady, girl, get it with your gel manicure. Honestly, it makes you look like you spent time on yourself even if you didn't. Next thing that I really think helps is to have great skincare. Whatever makes you glow, okay, and give you that confidence, because confidence is gonna make you look expensive too, okay? Whatever gives you that confidence to go out there, makeup, no makeup, whatever, she's glowing, okay? She is just lighting up from within, and personally, for me, that is skincare. If my skin looks great, I feel good. Whatever your routine is, whatever makes you feel good, good skincare, Get it, take your time with it. The second to last point, smell rich, okay? And there is one scent ingredient that I think does it, oud, people. Now, if you don't know what oud is, oud is a very popular scent ingredient, I don't even know if this is the right terminology, in a lot of Arabic perfumes, but oud is this kind of rich, it's like a Thick, it smells, she, ooh, she thick. It smells, smells like money. It smells mysterious. It smells intriguing. And I have two of my favorite scents have oud in them. The Armani Privé Rose Darabi, Arabic Rose, and the Lancome Oud Bouquet. Oh my God. It smells like warm and sexy. And just trust me, the next time you are going for perfume, have a try, have a smell, see what works for you. Even better, if you're going through duty free, use that time, use that time to find your oud. And the last tip to look expensive, look like money, make your hair look great. Find the products that work well for you. There is one product that I think no matter what, kind of hair you have really ups your game. And that is a great hair oil. So this one is the Shuumura Essence Absolute Nourishing Protective Oil. And honestly, if I'm just here to just, you know, mm, she's looking, she's looking a little bit, 
little bit dull, okay? Just take a couple of pumps, we take her through, we take her through and guess what? She's gonna be looking a little bit more put together, less flyaways, shiny. She's gonna be looking like, oh, I, okay, okay, shiny, definition, okay? Do you agree with these? Do you have any other tips? to make you look like money. Let's have that discussion in the comments. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you join us. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye, guys.